several teenagers along with his wife and they decided to propose a new Christmas tradition. Well, you can imagine with teenagers the kind of response they got, ah, oh, dad, no. And his whole idea was that they go to a homeless shelter at Christmas because they really had everything they wanted. They're, they were an affluent family, um, all kinds of gifts throughout the years. And so he decided that as a family, maybe they should give back. And of course, he told the kids that it would, would be fulfilling. It would be satisfying. It would be rewarding. And of course, he got the same stares and the same reluctance. Well, sure enough, at the end of this long Christmas day of serving meals, washing dishes, chatting with the strangers, as they drove away from the shelter, his daughter from the back seat, Christy said, that was amazing. What we did today, that helped me more than I helped them. It felt like God, she said, was all around me, loving me and saving me from, I don't know, from myself, I guess. This year, they were so excited that they decided to forego exchanging gifts and presents all together and go to that shelter earlier on Christmas morning to help with the cooking, to get the meals prepared. You see, that's our scriptures today. They invite us to open our hearts to the Emmanuel. Come, O long-awaited, just as Joseph did in our gospel today. They invite us to recognize that God doesn't depend on us to make Christmas happen. God is with us to save us, with or without presents, or wrapping, or cards or cookies. So let's be like Mary and Joseph, and let's welcome God with us, Emmanuel, to save us. All we really need to do this week is open our hearts, and the rest is all gift.